Welcome back to Yankee Stadium. Coffee with A-Rod. Today is not coffee, we're having a, a little shake with the ice shaker. Here we are in Yankee Stadium. Yankees, Red Sox, Yankees going for the sweep. Yankees have been unbeatable, 32 and 10 in the last 42. The Red Sox, well, they're at 500. And David Price is on the mound going up against uh, his mentor, the big guy, C.C. Sabathia. David Price is 0-6 in this building. Arguably the biggest start in David Price's Boston Red Sox career, of course, not including the postseason. Yankees, Red Sox, ESPN, let's go. So a lot of people have asked me, what is a hangover uh, after you win a championship? And no, it's not when you drink too much alcohol or you eat too much food. A hangover is real, it's when you win a championship, uh, you have a short and off season, uh, you join the banquet circuit, uh, you have four or five times, if not 10 times, more invitations, more distractions in the off season. And as a result, uh, sometimes you don't come to spring training as ready, as prepped, I can tell you from personal experience, I don't know anything about the Red Sox, but in 2010, after we won the championship in 09, um, we just felt coming in a lot more relaxed. Uh, sometimes you come into spring training and it's not as hungry, you're not as gritty. Uh, sometimes you have a little bit more of a country club feel. You see golf clubs more, better tans, uh, better cars in the parking lot. Uh, we joke around that sometimes uh, you want a really gritty team, an aggressive team, uh, and the more, the less Lamborghinis and Mercedes-Benz you see in the parking lot, uh, the better. Sometimes you need some good Fords and Toyotas out there too. Uh, but that's more of a joking thing. But it's really, really hard to come out gritty and hungry when all off season, not only do you collect uh, around a $400,000 check for winning the World Series, you usually get this check about three or four days before Christmas, so timing couldn't be better. Um, but it's a, it's a time to reflect and it's a time to celebrate. And that's what they mean by having a hangover. You sometimes don't come out quite as ready, alert, and gritty. You know, walking around the city the last few days, uh, I've had so many Yankee fans, they're so excited about this young team, why they're playing so well. They've asked me, Alex, why are the Yankees playing so well? Their record's incredible. Well, it's simple, it's because they are better. They're better suited for the season and even better suited for October. Why? There's three reasons why. Number one, that this team is better defensively. Number two, they're more athletic, so they run the bases much better and much more aggressively. And third, they have the flexibility of the DH. And that vacancy in the DH that Stanton has given up, it gives Aaron Boom the ability to do exactly what Alex Cora did last year, when no Red Sox player played more than 150 games, he's able to rotate, keep everyone fresh, and use the DH, that position, as a great asset, not a liability. So the Yankees are doing so many great things. They're hungry, they're gritty, and they're more like David. To think the Yankees are not Goliath, they're more like David. They have a lot of young kids in their 20s making the minimum, but they're playing hungry, they're fun to watch, and here's the bottom line. The difference between last year's team and this year's team, the team that is playing tonight, they put the ball in play. They make great contact, and contact equals championships. I'm still suffering from last year's bet with Big Poppy, so I have to think and maneuver what kind of trade I want with Big Poppy. I'm coming to get you, Poppy. Ariana Grande was incredible. She was so much fun to watch, an amazing concert. I'm forever grateful. My girls have never been happier. I said to Natasha Nella, I haven't seen you this happy at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> she said, because we weren't. <laughs> can I cook? Yes, I can cook. I'm great at cooking apples. I cut them and I cut them the wrong way and Nella still makes fun of me because I can't cook it. I'm not the greatest cook, but I try hard. All right, so here we have it in Yankee Stadium. Thank you for joining us, Coffee with A-Rod, and from Michael K's Box, see ya!